Okay, so. <clears throat> you never know. What are we doing here today? You're going to teach me how to sit? Oh, well, I guess we're done. Yeah, we kind of did that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And we'll act like we know what we're doing, too. Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Bill with Hangar Rats. We've got Caitlin here today working on her plane. What are we doing? What are we doing in your plane, dang it? <laughs> well, we're finishing the panel up. Yeah, so now uh, you went and fabricated all this stuff, mm -hmm. putting a different panel in, a Cessna 120. You did all the fabrication work, got all that stuff done, alanine it, primed it, painted it, and now we're marking it. So yes. what well, we did, what did you do to get to where we're going to do today? Well, uh, first I had to solidify a design. Yeah. So I came up with the avionics package uh, that I wanted in instrumentation. So you got to figure out what you're what you're putting in the plane. That's the hard part, probably. That was the hard part. Yeah. And then you're, there's stuff that you're going to have to inherit, like uh, what Cessna put in there, right? As far right. as markings and stuff like that. Right. Basic Required stuff. Required flat guards. Yeah. So the big the big craziness is going to be in the circuit breaker panel, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Okay. So you got to yeah figure out what you got. Right. Then. Um, you've got a, so you had the, you had the instrument panel all done, but now you got holes all over the place. How did you arrange the nomenclature to go where you wanted it to go? Google Sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Which, me if you want. It's free. It's free. Just like Excel, but it, it costs nothing. It costs nothing. Yeah. And it's and easy to manipulate where stuff goes. Because you can actually do, you can measure the cells exactly. You can go into right. the, the format, right? And, and measure yeah, the cells. It's Photoshop for poor people. Yeah. So then you did that. But you did you did the panel in chunks, so you did the circuit right. breaker in one chunk. Right. This yeah. is a chunk. This is a chunk. This is a chunk. Chunk. Yeah, and then you and ended then the up other with side of the panel. Yeah, chunk. you ended up with three hundred percent scale PDFs right. on paper. Actual so, size. Yeah, actual size. Yeah, no. Which is real important. It's really important. I found that out on my my janky printer. With the target <clears> marks. Yeah. So you got target marks. So then you took that, overlaid that, double check, double check, double check. So that worked out real well. Then to get to the image on the panel. What we're going to do is we're on this project we're silk screening it so then we have to take what caitlin did there and then we have to get it to this is called the film positive which all we do is we print out those files it's just a different printer and if you're a screenshot which we had some problems finding a good screenshot but um it's this is not a view graph or a transparency this is super dark black ink it's like triple black ink so that when we um burn our uh, soap screen, and this is the soap screen we use right here. We're gonna, whoops, it jumped. Um, this is the soap screen we use right here. Uh, we'll show you how um, I exposed all that. But what we do essentially is we put emulsion on it, light sensitive emulsion, put that clear, um, put that uh, film positive on here, expose it, and what cannot go through the black gets washed out when we uh, when we clean the screen. Then we have. All the image we want, we can screen ink through these holes just like a t-shirt. So just like a yeah. t-shirt, easy peasy. So then that's what you're going to see now. Um, anyway, so real quick, let's uh, tell you what. I'll uh, show you how we expose the screen. We'll be right back. Hey, guys, how's it going? We're in the hall bathroom, and we are going to coat these screens for the instrument panel job. So uh, pretty simple stuff. We've got some uh, emulsion. We're gonna open that in a little bit. It's light sensitive. It's it's looks like a, it's thick, like a big thick shape type of thing or smoothie. Um, we'll open that in just a little bit. Um, we've got screens here. We're running a 230 mesh screen, a real fine screen, so we have some real good, uh, real fine print going on. Uh, we've got a clock clicking up there, so don't mind that. And then uh, I'm gonna turn the uh, lights. I'm gonna take the lights and turn them off. Uh, off the white lights. So here we go. Um, follow along. This should be fun. Pretty quick. All we're going to do is we're going to put emulsion on the screens, which is liquid. It dries. And then once it dries, uh, or even through the whole process, it's photosensitive. So then we've got to keep it under yellow light anytime we handle it until we expose it to a white light. So what we're doing right now is we're just putting the wet emulsion on the screen. It's the same thing a t-shirt place to do. Um, so we're, and this is Fred Flintstone set up. I built a little plywood rack here so I get less slop on the uh, tub, keeping my, my wife happy. So we're going to put the emulsion on the screens, put rack them, turn the lights off, and walk away and come back about eight hours later after they dry. So that's the plan. So 
Here we go. I'm going to turn the yellow light on or turn the white light off. Boom. So everything's going to kind of go yellow on you. So this is what we got going on. I've got some paper towel here to keep this stuff off of the um, uh, floor. Uh -huh. Much, much, much later. Packaging. So that's all the emulsion looks like actually it looks like just a now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it just in case there's any settling whatnot now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this with a trowel and this is kind of a screen printing thing and all it is is just a trowel <clears throat> uh, it's got a smooth side or a sharp side and a, and a uh, smooth side we're going to use the smooth side because the weave that we're using we're going to fill this up and then this allows us to put on the right amounts it's again very common in the screen print industry making t-shirts and all that we're using um i got a couple paper towels at the ready always ready to make a mess okay This is way too much, but what we want to do is use, um, make sure we have enough in the bucket to do the job. So that's kind of what we're doing here. So that looks good. I like that slip here. Okay. And then we'll put this out of the way so we don't trip over it because that would be bad. Okay, here goes. This is pretty simple, actually. So we're going to give the screen two coats. As I said, we're using a 230 mesh strain right here. <clears throat> Pardon my high flute and dark room. Now you can see what's happened is the emulsion is kind of layered. It just evened up being liquid. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just lean it. I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see it. Lean it against there. Make it a nice even coat. Now we're going to do that again. Kind of roll it off. Let it settle down. Take this, put it in a rack upside down, let it dry. One down. Yeah, hey. The top fell down, right side up. What are the ends? Oh, look at this. We're already making trips. No problem. This is actually water soluble in its uh, liquid form. Professionals out there that know what you're doing, well, you probably know a whole lot more than I do, but this has been working for us. The emulsion we're using is a Yolano QX1, it's a solvent resistant emulsion. Stay. And again, we just put it on the drying rack and we'll let that dry. So that's it. That's putting emulsion on a screen. Easy peasy. We're going to put a fan in here, turn all the lights off, and we'll come back in about eight hours. And then we'll get ready to expose. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up. <clears throat> I've got my cover here. Actually, I'm going to put all this stuff together, but uh, get it all cleaned up. So we've seen a little bit when we uh, when this stuff's all dry. So, do loops. Okay, guys, here we are again. We've uh, we've got the yellow light on. We don't have anything in the white light because we don't want to expose this. So we've coated this screen. You can hear it. It's very very tight. It's uh, or it's been tight, but it's dry now. 
So this is a photosensitive screen. We're going to take it out to the dining table and put it under the light that we showed you here just a little while ago. So we just we can only do this under yellow light. I'm going to turn the lights off in the other room and you'll see it kind of I'll be fumbling around, but then I'll uh, I'll get it all sorted. But um, right now we're going to take it out under the low light. I typically do this at evening. For me, I do not have a proper dark room to do all this in one place. This is the, the hall bathroom, so it works good enough for us. So we're going to take this out one at a time, and uh, we will get these uh, get these exposed. So here we go. Okay, guys, this is going to be the setup. When we're going to bring the um, we're going to bring those frames with the emulsion on them one at a time out, and we're going to actually do two shots tonight. Uh, well, I'm only going to show you one, but um, this is what we're basically going to do. This is a this is a frame without emulsion. What we're going to do is we're going to take a frame, put it on our platform here, uh, make believe it has emulsion, and we're going to take our film positive. And the film positive is just that. It's not. A view graph. It's actually a film positive uh, done on a screen printing machine printer. It's extremely black. It's pretty much solid black. We're going to put that on backwards. Reason is, is this is actually the bottom of what we're going to be screening from. So we're going to put this on backwards, reverse image, and then to keep it down, we're going to put a piece of glass down, and that will hold it down. Now this is kind of the poor boy method of doing it. You. Normally, a production shop will have a, vin a vacuum table and all that. Uh, they'll have um, LED lights, they'll have this and that. This is basic stuff. For what we do, this works absolutely adequate. So this is what we're doing here. Um, what you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna turn this light out to keep the lights out absolutely to a minimum. And then I'll come in and then I'll uh, end up turning this on. And then this will expose, uh, you'll see on the other one, this will be dark green. You'll see this uh, This will expose it for about 15 minutes for the timetable that I have and the emulsion I'm using. And then <clears throat> we'll uh, take it outside and wash it. So that's what's going on here now. I'm going to go back in the bathroom and grab that, uh, grab one frame at a time. We're going to do two of these just to make sure we have it. So we'll see what happens. So that's it. Here we go. Wish us luck. Okay, I'm here. You probably can't see me, but I'm... Uh, Putting the exposed, or pardon me, the uh, frame with the emulsion on. I'm now putting, I find the, where is it? My overlay. Okay. Put that down. Get that in about where I think I need it. So that's kind of going on here. Bear with me, I'm still in here. And then I'm putting my piece of glass down. I'll hold the whole enchilada down flat, and I think that should be pretty good. Boom. Uh, hang on, gotta get my phone on the timer. Had it in my pocket. Okay. Boom, 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 and here we go. We're going to start the exposure. And start. For this emulsion, I'm using about 15 minutes, so that's uh, that should work real well for this. Uh, if there's any little specs and all that, uh, we'll, we can work those out later, but right now I think we're in pretty good shape. So we're going to let this cook for 15 minutes. We're going to have a drink, kick back and relax, take care of some paperwork, and then we will be back as the, phone, as the, uh, as the uh, clock goes off. So 15 minutes. See you in a bit. Okay, we're down about 15 seconds or so. So uh, as soon as the... Uh, Dinger dings, we're going to turn off the light and then I'm going to take the glass off, take the film positive off, and then take this outside. So it's going to be a little bit dark outside. And there we go. Boom. I'll keep talking. It's going to be kind of dark outside, but uh, that's the way I do it only because I don't have a dark room. Okay. That's all. 
of that. Good deal. Take my phone. And here we go. Outside we go. Hey guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hose this out, hose it off. The exposed emulsion will stay put, the unexposed will wash out. And I'm going to wear these because it's very loud. Because it's kind of like a diaphragm. This looks pretty good. I'll, um, we'll do a close up here and show you what's going on now. We're going to go do the second one, but uh, we'll fast forward and show you what this looks like probably tomorrow morning when everything's dry and all that. But this one looks pretty good. Everything washed out. The emulsion that was not exposed because of that black print washed out. It was soft. So it just washed out with the water. We don't need a pressure washer, just the garden hose is fine for what we're doing. Um, but we washed it out. The stuff that was exposed is hardened and you can see it's still green. For what you're seeing, probably in the dim light here, it looks all green, but uh, we'll show it to you tomorrow morning. But this looks, I'm pretty pleased with this burn here. So uh, we'll get going. So see you in a little bit. Okay, and we're back real quick. This is just to be real short. What we did then is after we exposed the, uh, this is kind of how we did it. Um, and you'll see that this is what, what I did in the, in the dark. We exposed the, um, the image there so that's what we uh we just finished up doing then what we did is we took this mask this off and masked each one of these off separately so that when we screen them and you'll see a couple of a uh, couple of uh, caitlin screening a couple of the little parts so then we did that so we're going to show you that real quick and uh again we'll be right back so check it out um and we're just screening each one of these as a little chunk with some ink and that's how it got onto the panel when I'm doing the fill, I'm not looking here. I'm looking over here. And I'm looking for, because if I'm not leaving a, a snail trail like that, I'm pushing a little too hard. Okay, okay you ready? Yeah, you're taller than me. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. And look on the top, look up top. See how you, you're not leaving much in there? Mm -mm. There you go. Do it again. Okay. All right. Okay, scoop it, scoop it, and then bring it back like that. Perfect. What's it? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, we did good. Great, yes. Sure. Okay, do it again. Wants to. There you go. <laughs> Give me that. Okay, same deal. So what? That's a good fill. See what you're looking at? Yeah. Seriously, then not even. Yeah, then you scoop it. It's not even the way to scoop it. No, exactly. You're just kind of. You're actually holding it off. Kind of like a real loose windshield wiper. There you go. And then scoop it. And you're, see, and then you're dragging that ink back. And now hit it. Go for it. Scoop it. And to the C clamp. There you go. Park it there. Perfect. How do we look at it? You look. You look good. Good. I even spelled primer right. Excellent. Check that out. God bless. Spell check. Did the drawing right? Yeah. Sweet. It's gonna work. So we don't have to use much ink at all. This is plenty for the whole enchilada. Yeah, that's a lot. Yep. We just spread it there. Okay. No, I mean, I'll hold down the frame for you. This is. It's a. It's a homeboy. Cheap Charlie rig, but you know what? And it works. It works. Okay. Are we ready? Whoops, make a mess. Yeah. Thanks. Now let me come around the other side. Right. You are okay. okay. You're going that way. Going that way. You're going to be over here pulling two of you. All right. Come on. Okay. 
Oh, and you got a you got a piece of paper, right? Yeah. Okay. Slightly, slightly, slightly. That's a baby. Yeah, a little, little. You want to you want to fill it? There you go. There. Yeah. See how you. More letters. Yeah. Want to run it? Yeah, let's run it. And then oh, give me a time. Perfect. Okay. And then you pull it and then bring it over. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, here you go. That's okay. Over there. Yeah. Okay, stay put. Okay. Pull out the shot and see what it looks like. Look at that. Okay. That's great. Okay, let's do it. Don't have to be good. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. Oh, so over here. All right. Same thing. Same thing. You give it two fills and a dry. Two nice light yeah. fills. And you'll see when you look in the back, you'll see that it's you're leaving ink on top of the fabric. All right. Yeah. So right here. Nail it. Done. Scoop it back to the frame back here. Kind of center on that C clamp. Okay. Mm, sure. How are we looking? I'll take it. Done. Looks good. That part is complete. Done. That panel is done. Good. Okay, to the drying rack. Yep. And bring the other rescue back. Yep. And we're back one more time. How'd you do? I think it's great. Yeah. It, it looks, looks fantastic. It looks spectacular. I mean, yeah, it you looks know, factory. It's to the style. It looks yeah. like it's painted on. So. You know what we used? Uh, I'll put a list of the. Uh, you had some folks already asking. I'll put a list of the emulsions, the inks, and all the other stuff we're doing. What we're doing right now in the paint booth is now that you got it all done. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? We're clearing it. Yeah, so uh, grab me little hands. Don't take the. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be off. basically sealed in for good mm-hmm. forever. Yep. Good news. Bad news is if you ever change your radios. Yeah, when you put your uh, G1000 in here. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. That's um, silk screening. We had um, out of pocket the emulsions about thirty bucks. We got a fresh can of emulsion. Mm-hmm. The uh, we went to a screen print shop, local screen print shop, and you got that done. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five Thirty-five bucks. bucks. That's great. Um, we did that. The screen I'm using is a. Uh, one of my screens I use uh, so I can reuse these and this is a uh, I think it's a 240 uh, filament screen um, so we reuse that free software free software uh, blah, 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 blah. the ink we used about two tablespoons yeah. which cost nothing I've got that um, and even that if you bought a can I think it's about 30 bucks yeah 30 bucks a and bit of clear. yeah touch time to do this panel how, how long were we on yesterday Oh, just the cover. Just the, just doing the screening. Uh, showed up about 9.30. We were done by 1. Done by 1. So, we didn't really touch it either. Yeah, so about 3, 4 hours. And that's mm-hmm. just because we had to do a piece, move it, do a piece, move it, and let, let the other parts dry. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Silk screening or screen printing. Um, real easy to do. Um, and uh, that's it. So hang a rat's out. Go fly.